Today we're going to talk about indie stealth games. The stealth genre provides a different thrill and a tactical or strategic approach to gameplay, making it immensely satisfying when we complete certain stages. Alright, let's dive into the list. Caribbean sea was a captain. Shadow Gambit. The Cursed Crew is a tactical stealth strategy game where you play as a cursed pirate crew in the age of piracy. You can gather your crew, each member with their own unique supernatural powers and abilities. As a tactical game, you can play however you like, whether it's plotting your way in and out or even taking a head on approach. Shadow Gambit is relatively easy to get into for newcomers. It has good graphics, fun gameplay with magic, and strong characters, though some argue that they are too OP. It will engage you both with its gameplay and its story, featuring many likable characters. Ignatia is their leader. You do well to... Blood West is an FPS game where you play as an undead gunslinger in a dark Wild West setting. However, this time you also have to face undead enemies instead of typical cowboys or thugs. The game offers an open-world, non-linear approach to gameplay. It also has RPG elements for perks and progression. While you can fight your enemies head-on, it is a bit unwise. The enemies deal so much damage that you have to take precautions when fighting them, and the shooting isn't as fluid as in typical FPS games. With good stealth aspects and exploration, this game should be considered if you're looking for a thrilling stealth FPS. Invisible Inc. is a turn-based stealth game where the player takes on the role of an agent handler for covert operations to infiltrate the world's most dangerous corporations. The game is inspired by the XCOM series and managed to exceed expectations with its polished execution. It also features roguelike elements for each stage, enhancing replayability and challenges. Because of RNG elements, each stage can be quite challenging. Players must focus on remaining unseen by enemies using cover and intelligent movement, with nearly no options for direct combat. The game also features hacking, which is a standout aspect that adds depth to the gameplay. I've ejected a mem chip from his port. You're messing with, do ya? Mutant Year Zero is a unique turn-based stealth tactical RPG set in a post-apocalyptic world. Initially, you play as three quirky characters, a mutated human, a pig hybrid, and a duck hybrid. There are two more characters and one extra included in the DLC, each interesting in both gameplay and story elements. The stealth mechanics in this game are quite unique and different from other stealth games. Every enemy has a peripheral circle that will immediately alert them once it touches you. While the combat is fun, the exploration and story will keep you engaged throughout your playthrough. Shadows of Doubt is the most unique game on the list being a detective stealth game set in a fully simulated open-world sci-fi noir city. Think like a detective to solve cases around you, or act as a trespassing detective who breaks into apartments, rifles through secret documents, or hacks security systems. You will spend a lot of time gathering evidence and solving your case to find the mysterious killer. With procedurally generated cases, failure is not a dead end. If you fail to solve a case, the killings continue, and you can try again until you finally capture the culprit using the sandbox elements to your advantage. Time to move. Now we have a hardcore stealth tactical game on the menu. Shadow Tactics. Blade of the Shogun is set in the Edo period of Japan. You will play with a party of characters including a samurai, ninja, marksman and others with unique special abilities. The game is beautiful and you'll need to conquer seemingly impossible challenges using your environment and tactics. Since the game is hardcore, it can be very difficult and challenging for newcomers to the genre. You will need to use trial and error for each strategy. Once you get the hang of it, the game becomes very fun and satisfying. With good balancing and the beautiful Japan setting, consider playing this game if you love a challenge. Timely is a stealth puzzle adventure where you control time like a media player. You can use the mechanic to see the future and navigate from point A to B, along with your mysterious cat companion. The time mechanics add significant depth and are the game's strongest aspect. 
The time manipulation mechanic feels like using a simple media player within the game, allowing the player to watch past and future events to understand the solution for each puzzle. The puzzle difficulty itself is just right. Instead of using undo actions, you can simply rewind to find the solution. Please consider the game if you love puzzles. Hello, Doctor. Gloomwood is a stealth horror FPS with retro aesthetics set in a dark Victorian city consumed by a curse. Stealth is essential in this game, which feels overall slow-paced with a lot of exploration, reminiscent of the Thief series. The retro aesthetics surprisingly elevate the grim and dark atmosphere. While it has good level design, stealth gameplay, and atmosphere, the game suffers from a low amount of content in its early access. You can finish the game in around 4 hours. If you love immersive sims, the Thief series, and horror atmospheres, consider adding it to your wishlist for the full release, as it shows great promise. Heat Signature is a roguelite top-down or isometric stealth game where you break into spaceships and do your stuff to take them down. In this game, you can also fly your little pod to break into another ship. The game offers freedom in how you approach the levels, whether you go in guns blazing with slow-mo, use teleports, or avoid contact altogether. The game definitely has similarities with Hotline Miami, but it has more depth due to the strategic elements. You can also pause to strategize your way around. As a roguelite, the game offers a good amount of variety in playstyle, strategy, ideas, and replayability. This War of Mine is a game focused on portraying the horrors of war. Moreover, we do not play as soldiers, but instead as civilians trying to survive amidst the war zone. The gameplay is inherently simple. During the day, we do simple tasks like building furniture or fixing walls. At night, one person can go out to scavenge for supplies while the rest sleep or stand guard. We will have to make difficult moral choices as well. There will be bandits, hostile enemies, snipers, and even innocent people. Our characters may also become depressed and suicidal. Even though it's not a stealth-focused game, it has high tension during the segment. Deadbolt is a stealth combat game where you play as a reaper. You die in one shot while your enemies don't, which is why careful approaches and strategic planning are required to finish each stage. It combines puzzle elements with fast action reflexes. For stealth and positioning, you have the ability to fast travel through the ventilation system. How you approach the levels also varies depending on your preference. Do you want to distract enemies by knocking out the door? Or perhaps just enter and blaze your way through with a gun? It's up to you. Stray is a cat adventure game set in a decaying cyber city inhabited by curious droids and dangerous creatures. The game combines platforming, exploration, collectibles, emotional turmoil, and immersive scenery. While it isn't a dedicated stealth game, it has very good stealth sequences. The overall gameplay consists of exploring, interacting with many interesting characters, infiltrating dangerous places, and solving puzzles. The game is definitely on the casual side, so if you love these types of games along with light yet fun sneaking sequences, this game is for you. Mark of the Ninja is a 2D side-scrolling combat game that places heavy emphasis on stealth. It's one of the best stealth games you can get. There will be a lot of tools and techniques for you to use according to your playstyle. Well, you're a ninja, so it's to be expected. The gameplay elements in this game are well polished, from the tight controls to the large yet well-designed levels, and the platforming mechanics. You can choose to ignore your enemies altogether, or perhaps eliminate everyone in your path. If you don't typically enjoy stealth games, this one might just change your opinion.
Gunpoint is a stealth puzzle game focused on the rewiring aspect to trick people. You use a device called Crosslink, which lets you see how all the security devices in a level are wired up, allowing you to click and drag with the mouse to rewire them. The result is clever gameplay design with sometimes hilarious moments. The gameplay is very engaging and offers some challenges, but it is not punishing. There are many ways to be creative in your playthrough. The gadgets and abilities you unlock range from extended mobility for your player character to more capabilities for your Crosslink program. The community is also a great part of the game, with lots of custom-made levels. Train. Knife. Ah. Now we have Desperados 3, brought to us by the same studio that developed Shadow Gambit and Shadow Tactics. Desperados is said to be the best hardcore stealth game they have released. As the title suggests, we are now playing in a Wild West setting. It offers rewarding stealth gameplay, a huge amount of content, and well-written characters. It features different characters with special abilities, of course. What makes Desperados 3 stand out is that everything is polished and just right. The smooth gameplay, challenging yet rewarding stealth, the campaign length, and the immersive story all contribute to making it one of the best real-time tactical stealth games out there. Next time, I better thin down the pack before I get loud.